Hey there guys, we're going to go ahead and create an e-poster. This is a template for an e-poster where you have your title, kids have their placeholders that they can insert their, insert their docs, their thinking map, vocabulary, a picture. They can also have a video. They can also have their Google slide presentation and these placeholders for their name. So it's just an easy way for students to place the information that you want them to place. Uh, here are a few e-posters here. You have your Google Docs and image and if they click on that they can it's linked to the actual document. You also have your Quizlet. This is another platform where the students can actually store their vocabulary here. They can learn their vocabulary cards here. So you have the cards where they actually have the term, the definition, and then they have a sentence and there you go. You have one with Ruby Bridges. The difference here is you have like a resource page where they have their text links here so they can create uh, some other things that they've been doing in class. This one, the unbreakable code is a little different where they have their introduction and if they click on this text text link here, it will take them to the extended version of the introduction here. Another vocabulary piece, videos that are embedded here. You also have uh, something different here where the students can insert the audio or embed the audio to a student reflection, what they thought about the project, how proud they are of the project. And once you teach your students about copyright usage, they can put their little copyright badge on the bottom of their e-posters as well. So let's get started with creating our template. And what we want to do is we want to actually go ahead and go to File. And once we click on File, we're going to click on New and then go over to Drawing. Once we have our drawing that's loading there, let's look at some images. I want to use a wooden background. I kind of on that mode there. So when I do that, I just want to click on view image. I want to, once I click on view image, I want to grab the actual link um, to that image there. And then when I grab the link there, I'm just going to click on uh, insert. Let's go back and grab that link. And we're going to copy that link and then I'm going to go here to image and I want to insert it by URL so I'm going to click there and then I'm going to paste that link there and then I'm going to select it because when it's selected it's going to go ahead and populate here and then I can resize it any way I want just like here. So I've resized it by grabbing those anchors and I also like going by the corner anchors to resize because it kind of keeps things in proportion and you can stretch that out as far as you want over your canvas. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and look at inserting our placeholders that we have here. So with our placeholders, we want to create a title, introduction, vocabulary, and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and start with our title. I'm going to go to on my toolbar to where it says shapes, but I want a different type of shape so I'm going to go ahead and do equation because I want this double bracket here so I'm going to click on that when I click on that that plus sign is going to allow me to click and drag it to as broad or as narrow as I want it so when anything is selected just go ahead and double click there and you'll see that faint uh, vertical cursor there your cursor that's blinking and I'm going to say title and then I'm going to go ahead and select that text and I want it larger so let's do a 48 I'm going to change the color to white because by default it's black and I'm going to align it to the center and if I deselect this you see these bl uh, this black bracket here over here and also over here, I want to make that pop out a little more. So I always select whatever I'm going to change. I'm going to go to my line color and I'm going to change that to, let's go with this color here. I want the line weight to be thicker so I'm going to make that an 8 and see how that's the placeholder for my title. Remember, whenever you want to center something, get your crosshair, select it, get your crosshairs and move it to wherever you want. So I want this to be centered, boom, and there I go. Let's go ahead and create another placeholder and I'm going to use my brackets again. So I'm going to go to equation, double bracket, and this is going to be for my introduction. Remember, you're just going to click and drag, boom, double click, 
and this is going to be in true reduction. Okay, remember I'm going to select, some of you are comfortable with highlight, but I'm going to select that term, make it larger, give it a 24. Let's go to my paragraph alignment center, change the color of the text, and we want it white so it'll stand out so the students will know exactly what I want here. And I want the object that I want them to place here will be a Google um, Docs. So I'm going to tell them to put a Google Docs there. Remember I want these brackets to pop out a little more. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick with the same color but I want the weight to be half the size so let's go with a four so there we go now I want to create these boxes here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where do you think I'm going to go that's right shapes but I'm going to go to shapes instead of equations and I want shapes but I want my boxes so this is going to be a rectangle and I'm going to click and drag okay let's just click and drag that and by default you're going to get this blue field color here but as long as it's selected you can change that go to your toolbar here and you'll see your paint bucket which is your fill color and we're going to change that from a blue to transparent because I don't want a color there and I'm going to go ahead and double click in order to write or type my text and this is going to be my vocabulary remember I need to select the text because I'm going to change the color of the font to white and I'm going to change the size of it to let's go with 24 is good and then I'm going to do center it for paragraph alignment. Also want to change my line color from black to the theme color that I've selected and let's keep my weight at about four. The weight here remember was double the size. So we have that. So now remember if we click away that looks good. All right so let's go ahead and select this again because I'm just going to copy the boxes and it's going to make it a little bit easier for when I'm sizing on my PC I'm going to do control C and I believe on your Mac it's going to be control command C in order to copy and for my PC I'm going to do control V which is going to be to paste and for your Mac it'll be a command V and then you see these crosshairs that I have here with the four arrows that allows me to drag this uh, object or this placeholder wherever I want on my um, e-poster. You see those red lines that just showed up that tells me that this box is aligned with the box above but if it's over here it's not aligned because you don't see those red lines. See that vertical red line? So that tells me it's aligned so I'm gonna drop it there and I'm going to change this to let's just say I want a picture here so my kids will know that I don't have to worry because I've copied everything don't have to worry about changing the font size or color so I'm going to go ahead and do another control C another control V because the next one I want to be a video so I'm going to have my crosshairs click and drag I'm going to move this one up keeping it aligned and I might want it to take on a little more space I can change that shape there uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna move this box there we go so let's go ahead I'm gonna copy this size and let's do a control C control V and boom and I'm going to go ahead and use my down arrows this time and let's just go ahead and move this here and let's just call this my video placeholder so my students will know where that's going to go they need a video there let's just go ahead and do another control C control V and I'm going to move this placeholder over here because I want a let's go with a thinking map because we've been working with thinking maps so they just have to put one thinking map there and I'm going to move this one up and keep it aligned and I think I'm going to change the size of that just a tap and then let's go ahead and put oh we need a Google Slides and we need to also add the uh, created by and you can put these boxes in any uh, area of your e-poster that you like okay so I'm going to move this one out of the way 
and let's go ahead and do another. Remember, it's selected. I want this size box, the one that I select. Let me deselect it. So I've selected the video box, and I'm going to do a Control C, Control V, because I'm going to change this one into my. What do you think that's going to be? How about a Google um, Slides presentation? All righty. And let's go ahead and put in our, uh, let's go ahead and do a con another control C, control V. And we have to put our aided by box here. So I'm going to move this up a tad. There we go. There. And this is going to be created by, and we want our student's name to go here. I'm going to change the size of the font there to about an 18. There we go. So the kids know that they can put their name here created by. Alrighty. So it's really just that simple. So go ahead and remember put your title placeholder. So when you share this with your students in Google Classroom or you just share the link with them, they will know that this is your e-poster. These are the items I want in your e-poster. And it's just that simple. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to part two where we are actually embedding these various objects.